Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. I'm working on a mini album featuring Maggie Home stuff, so that will be in an upcoming video, so hit subscribe so that way you're staying in the loop. But um, I use a lot of the acdigitals.com digital paper, and I like to make envelopes from this too. I printed on Recollections cardstock, just the white cardstock you get, and it folds really nicely and does a beautiful job printing. Just the bright white. Um, you can get it sometimes for two dollars, a whole pack of 50 or whatever when they have those sales so it's a great deal um, compared to say photo paper or something like that but if but if you're concerned about longevity make sure you go with uh, the paper of your choice but anyway it prints out like this it's kind of eight by eight um, it's eight and a half by eleven piece of paper um, but the actual picture size is eight by eight so once you trim off these borders you end up with something that looks like this so it's an eight by eight square now I did do double-sided printing on this one just so you could see the inside of the envelope so all you do is print it and then you run it then you put it back in your printer and print the other side in the pattern of your choice and you have double-sided paper voila all right so this envelope is pretty simple so I want this to be the outside of my envelope the side that you're going to see the most of so I'm going to flip this over uh, you just need a bone folder this is very very simple bone folder and some scissors um, it's really in a corner rounder is what I, I also use so what you do is you want this to overlap a little so you just kind of bring it together and then you overlap one side just enough so that you're able to put glue down on that so and then you just make sure now my head's not lined up here so just make sure they're even at the top and the bottom and then go ahead and squash down and this is where your bone folder comes in handy make those creases and then you're able to move around a little bit this paper folds really nicely so now I've got that okay then I'm gonna make a little tab up here that's going to look wonky here, but never fear, we're going to fix that. So I'm just going to fold it up. It's going to be kind of thick. So use some muscle and make a crease like that. Then I want this to be, this the flap to my envelope to be about that much. So I'm going to come down about what I, whatever you want. So it's whatever you want it to be. And then you make that crease. So now you have something that looks like this super simple. So now I've got score lines. So I'm going to open it back up. And what we're going to do is cut out these four corner bits here. And we're also going to bevel in the edges of these tabs. Okay. Um, Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go right from the get-go and cut that on an angle. And get that chunky part of that score line out of there. I'm going to cut this on an angle, so you've probably seen this lots of times, this part's easy. I like to use bigger scissors for this. If you're a Costco member, in the back there, they have three scissors, and they turn out to be about two something each, and they're in very good quality. They're scotch titanium. They're very comfortable and nice and long for paper cutting. FYI there. So, holding it upside down now, I'm also going to bubble in on my little lid here. Make sure I can see it better from that side. I've got stripes. Um, so I'm going to come in like that and then get rid of that square. And then I'm going to come in like that and get rid of that square. Okay. So this is now what we have. Okay, so theoretically it's going to go like that, going to go like that, so you, now you don't have that bulk. And I like the rounded corner look myself, but you could certainly leave it if you don't have one. And use the wrong side. Go ahead and round that with whatever means you have. So you don't have to use double sided paper, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to use some art glitter glue. Got a little ball of it here. And then I'm just going to come along the wee edge of my flap there. Is that dry? You could use double sided adhesive. 
Um, in Michigan, I have just found I use more liquid glue all the time because it seems to hold the best in our ever-changing climate. All right, and then we're going to put glue here and come up there. So, fasteners. Now, if you want to do the traditional coin envelope with the little round doohickeys, you want to do that before you glue down. Um, I have kind of found the ease of, um, of Velcro. <laughs> um, I get these Velcro bits here, and I cut them in half. You make little half moons, and then you get double your money. So I've already done that, used that on a different project. So you've got the fuzzy bit, and then the little teeth. So, um... Uh, I like to have the fuzzy bit up on top, so I'm going to get my toothy one, and I'm going to kind of eyeball, so that's where I want. If you're OCD about measuring that, you could, you can, I'm not worried about it, and I'm just going to put that underneath like that. So I have that there, and then, so I know that this will perfectly line up, I take my fuzzy one, and I attach it to my toothy one. So the sticky side's up, and so now when I close it and press that down, now it's going to be stuck to that. So now when I open it, I have a Velcro closure and lots of room in there. So that's a super easy pocket. You can decorate this so many ways to make it super cute. Again, like I said, if you're going to do the traditional coin envelope wrap around thingies. Um, I might have one here. Uh, this was one I made. I love this paper. This is a digital paper that I have from Prima from Snap Click Supply, I think. It's very pretty. Now, I made these um, really big and wonky, so don't do that. But uh, when you do this method, okay, let's undo this which I like to look up to. I just find when I'm in a pinch, I've used eyelets there, the, the Velcro just is cute. <laughs> um, you want to adhere this, do the punching of this, and then glue it, okay? So that you are able to stick your punch in there, if you know what I mean. Um, but, super easy envelope. You really could do this in just about any size that you have if you just follow those steps. And I like this size, this eight by eight. Paper works perfectly to make, so this turns into this, and um, it's very, very roomy, and uh, to stick all sorts of journaling cards or little tea bags, gift cards, all sorts of things. Um, you can fit this in junk journals. You can do all sorts of things with this. Um, even this one that I'm working on here, that's not finished here, but um, it's a nice size to put in if I were to say glue this on here and then you've got a pocket you could do a flip out like that all sorts of things you could do with this um and then just fine but anyway hopefully that helps you out a little quick tutorial there uh thanks so much for joining me and uh hit that like and subscribe button so you'll be in the loop to see other upcoming projects thanks guys have a great day